If your website ends up on a URL block list, well, you might as well not have a website at all since over 90% of your traffic will likely vanish overnight. Fixing the issue could put you back thousands of dollars if you're caught unprepared. In this video, let's talk about what a URL block list is and highlight just how important it is to maintain your website's security. Neglecting security could not only pose a threat to your revenue, but also your reputation, your SEO, and most importantly, your users. So what is a URL block list? In a nutshell, a URL block list, also known as blacklist, is a process where search engines like Google and Bing, along with other authorities, blacklist or remove a website URL from their respective index. A blacklisted website won't appear on search engines results pages. Browsers also display large red warnings to users advertising them not to enter. So why do sites end up on a URL block list? The simple answer is they've been detected as malicious and unsafe for users to access. A malicious website contains any of the following. Malware, phishing schemes, Trojan horses, unsafe plugins, SEO spam, and so on. If you stumble upon a malicious website like this, you're most likely entering a hacker's territory where your data, keystrokes, and clicks are not secure. So you may be wondering how your website could end up on a block list like this. You've likely followed the rules and haven't implemented any malicious tactics, so what's wrong? Well, every day, cyber criminals compromise thousands of websites. Hacks are often invisible users, yet remain harmful to anyone viewing the page, including the site owner. Your site may be infected without ever knowing. Malicious website code can range from stealing sensitive information, disrupting availability, redirecting visitors to spam pages, completely hijacking the website, or even infecting the visitor with some other piece of malware that ends up on their computer and steals their data. So all this is a headache best avoided. While the cleanup of a hacked site can sometimes be as simple as reverting to a previous backup, not every site owner, depending on their host, will have backups available, and some will be forced to hire a professional to scrub the site and do a full rebuild and install, which is tedious and expensive. So it's high priority for any website owner to take security seriously and ensure you're implementing the fundamentals that keep you and your users safe. This will entail doing things like ensuring you're with a secure web host provider, one with regular backups, support, and up-to-date security. You should also ensure the software and plugins on your site are reputable and up-to-date with the latest versions, an SSL certificate to ensure your users have a secure connection to the service, and having unique smart passwords for all your logins. So in future videos, we do plan to touch more on how you can keep your website secure, and we'll also go over what you can do if your website does end up compromised and how to clean it of viruses. For more information, be sure to stay tuned, and thank you for watching.